you've downloaded your Word document, now you've got access to your template for your email signature. So we need to do a couple of things and the first thing is in the Word document itself we need to change the colour of that line to match the colour in your logo. And you can see up here Pierre, he's got a red cap and we would like to have a red line to match. So I'll just show you how to do that. Now just first of all you can see the signature is actually set up in a table and down below this is the template we're going to use and there's no lines there except for that one vertical line. So just bear that in mind as you're working with it. Now we highlight the whole table and we're going to go over here and select borders and we're just going to go to untick the vertical one so that's disappeared now. Now we're going to change the colour and it's important that when you use a colour make sure you use exactly the colour that you're looking for. Don't just pick any colour that's close because that'll detract from the pres presentation you're going to make. So I know that the hexagonal code for my red is this colour here. So we'll pop that in and there's our red and we go OK. Now we're going to select the vertical line again and there it is. So that's all we do in Word. Now we're just going to highlight everything. So Command C or Control C to copy. So here I have a email with some uh, text already in it. We're going to pop our signature in there so we'll just paste that in. Now you can see the uh, font size has come up bigger than what we want so we just need to highlight that whole block again. It's important to get the font, it, the actual font itself, the font colour and the font size to match the text that you're using in your email. So I'm using in my email Calibri and I'm using a font size of 15 so we'll just change that and I'm using this colour here, this medium blue and now we've got our signature to match the text. The next thing I want to do is go to where it says logo, we'll just delete that and now we're going to insert a picture. Now what you need is an image of your logo that is 75 pixels high and you can't resize it in here, you actually have to use something like Photoshop or get somebody who knows what they're doing to resize that image for you to 75 pixels high and then we'll insert that. Here comes Pierre, there he goes, and then the next step is just to change the wording in our signature. By default the name is in bold, then your job title, business name, phone number, mobile, email address. Now you can see the next line, it has got all of our online presence, so we've got our website, Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter if applicable. If any of those aren't applicable, you would just delete those, so I'm going to delete the Twitter. And underneath each of these we're going to put our hyperlink to the particular destination. The website though we'll put actually in the real web address. And then underneath that we're going to put a hyperlink in. So we need to go to our website. Now copy the URL, bring that back, highlight the web address, go to hyperlink and insert the hyperlink. You can see it's got the HTTP and everything there and you click OK. Now what that does, you can see it's actually changed the font colour. So we want to get it back to our normal blue so we'll highlight that and we'll select our blue. You can only do that one uh, hyperlink at a time, you can't highlight the whole lot and do it. Okay, we'll do the same for our Facebook page, so we'll go to our business Facebook page. Make sure you're on your business Facebook page and we'll copy the URL at the top. Come back to Outlook and we'll highlight the word Facebook. Select a hyperlink and insert it. Again it's changed colour, we'll change that back and we'll do the same for LinkedIn. Make sure you're on your home page for LinkedIn. Copy your URL, 
back to Outlook and we'll again insert that hyperlink and change the colour back. Now if you've got a tagline it would be good to put that at the bottom. There we go. Now there's one little thing that would be nice to do and that is to change the colour of these little initials here to in this instance the red of Pierre's beret. So now we need to change it to exactly the red that it is so if you can't determine that yourself uh, get somebody else who can and we're going to choose the font color and there it is there and we'll change the E and the M so there's our signature now what we need to do is we'd like to use this not only in this email but in future emails so we'll copy that just make sure you've got it copied just like that command C or control C and then if you go to signatures we can add a signature we'll call it Pierre PR and we'll paste in our signature. You can see there it is there and that's now there for us to use in the future and I'll just delete this one just to give you an example so we just go to signature click on PRPR and there it is. Now the beauty of this is it's got all of the uh, hyperlinks are all active and can be clicked on and we've got a nice professional signature. I hope you enjoy creating yours and I hope you get some nice comments.